What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Real Housewives of Orange County star Kelly Dodd is currently peddling some conspiracy theories on Instagram where she's claiming that uh, Bravo and Andy Cohen and everybody else involved with programming at Watch What Happens Live is purposely freezing her out of the show. If you recall, ever since the pandemic hit, Kelly has been consistently showing her ASS online, you know, spreading all kinds of conspiracy theories, being very heartless about the vulnerable population that it affects, traveling around like nothing's going on, you know, et cetera, et cetera. She's also been saying some racially insensitive things as well, you know, when confronted by paparazzi or on her very own Instagram page. So a lot of people, myself included, have decided to boycott the season of The Real Housewives of Orange County because we just don't feel comfortable watching it so long as someone as nasty as Kelly Dodd is on the show. You know, a lot of Bravo fan pages are not even covering it altogether because of this. So of course, viewership is decreasing, the ratings are going down, which means she is messing with Bravo's money. So I wouldn't be surprised if what she's claiming is true. In fact, her Orange County co-star Gina has actually spoken on the record to the press about the boycotts currently going on as a result of Kelly's, you know, bad behavior. So it's not a secret, you know, in Bravo world. Andy Cohen hasn't spoken about it himself. Bravo hasn't released an official statement. They haven't fired her from the season like they've done with other stars when they've got caught up in trouble. But it is known that this is happening and the numbers very much reflect that as well, right? So, well, it turns out that the Lord works in mysterious ways because apparently there is a concerted effort to keep Kelly away from Watch What Happens Live as a result of all of the fan backlash. And she actually confirmed it herself. Here's a screenshot obtained by thesun.com of her pretty much confirming the thing. Someone commented under one of her Instagram posts saying, the only real housewife that isn't a sheep like the rest of the Bravo peeps. Finally, I love it. Kelly responded by saying, that's why I haven't been on Watch What Happens Live, but Shannon Bedore will be on twice next week. Obviously, signaling the fact that this very well could be the end of Kelly. I think at this point, Bravo's like, listen, our editors are tired between the virtual reunions, the virtual confessionals, editing people out of shows that they were already existing on because they were already fired. We don't have time to edit Kelly out of the Housewives of Orange County, so we can't fire her yet. We need her for the reunion, so we can't fire her yet or else, you know, she's a spitfire. She'll just stop or she'll stop shooting her talking heads. So they need her to finish out the season. This is my theory. And once everything is all said and done, once they've gotten everything they need from her, they will probably be dropping her. Because listen, people are letting their viewership talk at this point and that means you know the money is walking away from them and they need to make money from these shows so so long as kelly is losing the money they they have no use for her originally her antics were drawing viewers to the show but you know now that she's repelling them it, it just doesn't make any kind of financial sense and public relations sense to keep her on the show so i definitely think that this is kelly low-key admitting that she is being phased out of Orange County altogether. Listen, if you're not gonna be used to promote your show, then they're trying to distance you from the show as much as possible. Guys, do you think that they're gonna be announcing that Kelly is fired once all is said and done on the Housewives of Orange County? Can you blame Bravo? I personally don't, I get it. Like they've had to edit a lot of people out of the shows. They fired so many people, they're restructuring everything. They're doing virtual confessionals, you know, which is so much more work, virtual reunions, et cetera, et cetera. Their editing team cannot handle getting rid of this girl right here, right now, because there's just so much going on. So I could totally understand them waiting, if that's what they're doing, until the end of the season to officially announce that they've parted ways with her. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say about everything. So please make sure to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.